So the new oil pump has arrived. Uh, this is the seal which fits here. And uh, let me open the water pump, the oil pump. Uh, this is the water pump uh, genuine Volkswagen part as you can see and also this is the genuine Volkswagen part so let me check here. so uh, this one has not got the filter here I'm going to put the uh, old the old oil pump filter here i'm going to put that one this is the new volkswagen same part as you can see this is the part number mm. this is the old one as you can see the filter is still fixed here so i'm going to remove this filter going to remove this felt head and second okay remove this filter and put it there so This is the filter I have removed and I'm going to put that, this filter here. So. As you can see, I've got one dowel pen here for the alignment. And also this is the old one which has the dowel pin here. The other one is there installed. No, this this is the second one that is also here in new one. So I'm going to uh, remove the old one from the top section of the sump. As you can see here, this one hasn't got the dowel. This one has, this is the new one. So I'm going to remove the old one because this one has already got dowel pen in for alignment. So <clears throat> the other one has to be removed which is left in, uh, uh, in the top section of the sump body. Okay, now I'm going to install a new oil pump and you watch it. Okay, make sure the chain installed correctly because as you can see.
Okay, this is the long screws that fit here. And this uh, two has uh, the same length that uh, those uh, feet here. This is uh, properly fit inside the, you know, the gear, the gear teeth is properly fit inside the chain here. So now I'm going to <coughs> tighten the uh, oil pump uh, mounting screws. Okay, <coughs> oil pump uh, mounting screws or torqued 20 newton meter so Twenty Newton meter. So we have installed the new oil pump and now see uh, what is going to happen how that will work and we will see the uh, oil pressure increased with this pump okay now I'm going to uh, thoroughly clean this uh, uh, oil uh, pickup screen or strainer and then put renew this uh, o-ring seal with the genuine Volkswagen part this one and then tightening to touch specification of 8 newton meter so I'm going to clean this with the EGR and carburetor cleaner. Okay, I have thoroughly cleaned the oil strainer or the 
I'll pick up screen as you can see. Clean and uh, I've cleaned up with the EGR valve uh, cleaner spray and uh, then I flushed with the water after that I flushed with the uh, <coughs> uh, compressed air so now I'm going to replace this washer I'm going to replace with the genuine new one So this is the washer, so I'm going to smear a little bit with the clean oil, so then I'm going to install that. So torque setting for this is 8 Newton meter. Okay, now I'm going to thoroughly clean the uh, buffle plate, buffle plate, this one, this one and install this one as well. Okay, after cleaning you need to align uh, this notches, this uh, teeth uh, to this notches as one here, here. Here, here, and here. So I have thoroughly cleaned this one, and now I'm going to install it. So, as you can see, the teeth has aligned with the notches here, 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 and here, and also here and here. Now, put the screws, make sure you hand tightening the three screws. Okay, now put the screws on.
So the tightening torque specification is no 8 newton meters. Okay. So this is also done. So the buffle, uh, buffle plate has, has uh, three screws, one here, one here, and one here. So one, two, three. And the uh, tightening uh, torque specification is eight newton meter for this three screws.